Hey, it's Christy Darty. If you're watching now, you're watching the replay. Say hi, and where are you from? I am getting set up here to make some Christmas ornaments. Hand letter them. I'm going to flip my camera. So they're not backwards for you. Let's see if this is the right way. Hey, who's on here? Say hi. There we go. There we go. So I'm working on some um, custom ornaments for my Etsy shop. And I wanted to just come on live and visit with anybody that wants to chat. So say hi. What are y'all doing on this fabulous, <laughs> what night is this? Friday night at 10.44 p.m. Central Standard Time? Wow. It's late, isn't it? I did not realize it was this late. I have orders to do, and I'm looking for my orders right now. I feel so disorganized. So who is out there tonight? I was hoping to have a friend to talk to. Where's those orders? Shoot. Hmm. I'm going to look. I'll be right back. Okay, I found one order. Yay! So who's out there? Oh, look who's here. Hi, Missy. You got done cleaning the kitchen. I am so jealous. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Are y'all late night people? I wish I was good enough. Good enough. I wish I was disciplined enough to clean my kitchen before I went to bed. I would love that. <laughs> I would love the way it felt when I woke up, but I'm just not. Never have been. How did I lose what I just, I mean, I literally just had something. <laughs> okay, I found one. Um, so tell me. Hi, Denise. How are you? What are y'all doing? How's it going? I'm just going to work on some personalized ornaments. That's the order. That's the orders that I have. Yeah, this morning someone called and woke me up at 10 a.m. That never happens. At 8 p.m. I thought, I'm ready to go to bed. I'm just tired. <laughs> and um, and then I wake back up. Here I am. So, But I, the, the reason I'm really motivated is because I want to get this stuff in the mail because I want to make sure it gets there for Christmas. Yes, he's got home. He did, he, he did great. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, I got to get your gift in the mail. It's almost packaged up. She's taking me today. <laughs> I've been getting better at getting the kitchen clean over the past year. You're so good. I'm serious, Missy. I am jealous. That's really something I should put on my goals list. But I don't know. I'm better than I used to be, but I'm not. I can go to bed easily with a dirty sink. <laughs> I wish I could um, yes, my son just came in from college. We got to go to dinner with him, and it was really nice. And now he's off with his guy friends. Some of his friends from college came home with some of the other guys that live here, and so they're all getting together tonight. Probably to play video games. Who knows? And then, um, yes, he's 20. <laughs> I'm like, is he always going to play video games? <laughs> ah, it's funny, but... Anyway, I'm glad he's here. And then I think Emily's coming tomorrow, his girlfriend. Um, okay. This one that I'm doing, she wants a name. So today I got to tell y'all what I did since I was just showing you how I lost something. It's easy to lose stuff when you're crafty. But 
this was crazy. So I, hang on, let me write this because I'll probably misspell it if I don't. This may not fit on here anyway. Um, so I, I did a hand lettered ornament today. I went live on someone else's page. If you saw that, that was on Low Country Sparkle. And um, anyway, <laughs> I did this hand lettered ornament. It was a Santa and it's my last one. And I was getting it ready, getting it all ready and kind of showing people how I do it. And then I went outside and I sealed it. I sprayed it, came in, put it in a safe spot. Then went to the other room and I packaged up. I've been doing, if you haven't noticed or haven't, didn't know, I've been doing these live sales. So I'm selling my things on my Facebook page. It's real popular to do that. It's a fun way to shop. And um, basically I hold up an item with a number and people bid on it. Not bid, claim it. And so um, I have a bunch of orders because of that. So I've been trying to package up orders and try to stay organized and all that. I had packaged up about nine orders. Hang on, a kid is here. I don't know which one it is. Hey, I'm on live. I just wanted to see if that was you. Would you turn that fan on? And did you um, get my text? You did? Okay. How are you? Love you. That's my daughter. She just got their babysitting. Anyway, um, but after I packaged up those nine packages, I went looking for that ornament, and I could not find it anywhere anywhere and I'm like tearing up my house thinking oh my gosh I couldn't have packed you know I hope I didn't package it up and anyway so then I went outside got all the packages all of them opened them all up looked through them all first I tried to feel through them and I thought no no I don't feel it but you know what I might be missing it but it's hard you would think because a lot of them were like bags and towels so they were soft and I thought I could feel through it. And I was thinking, getting paranoid. No, I can't. I can't. Anyway, then I had my husband look, which that's not his favorite thing to do. You know, he doesn't move things when he looks. So I have to come find stuff for him anyway. Anyway, I know this is a long story, but just all that. I want you to feel a little bit of pain that I went through. And then I'm panicking going, okay, I can't make another. We, I can't get another one of those ornaments. So <laughs> I ended up. Going about my business thinking, okay, well, what am I going to do? I'm just going to have to make her another ornament. I, I don't know what to do. And then it dawned on me, oh my gosh, I put it on my Christmas tree to take a picture and I just left it there. And I was, <laughs> when I went back and saw it, I was so thankful. So I know y'all don't do things like that, but I do. I definitely do. Yes, I heard that about Emily. And I was asking Hayes what he thought. And the only thing, though, is when I'm around her, she comes to life at like 1 in the morning. So I'm like, well, maybe that is a good time for her to come. I don't know. No, I, whatever you think is safest. But, um, yeah, Hayes was, I think Hayes was hoping in the morning, too. But if she's more alert at night, I don't know. Not sc kind of scary with it being dark and stuff. Okay. That's my story of being crazy and can't finding things. And she also wants, oh, she wants, she says she wants 2019. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so this is the third one that I put 2019 on today. That's weird. Today. And I'm always like, okay, do they know what they're writing? But if you're writing 2019, you probably do know what you're writing because it's in the future. Because sometimes I start to write down something. I'm like, 1982. What? Where did that come from? <laughs> Y'all ever do that? All of a sudden it's like, 1982. Where did that? It's been a good year. Who else is out there? What are y'all doing? I love my little late bird friends here. <laughs> you got the level. Oh, yay. Yay. Yeah, here's my level. Sometimes I forget to use it. It's right here. 
Y'all don't know what this is. It's just to help you keep your lettering straight without having to draw lines and stuff. And it, there's certain things I really like to have it. With a circle, it's not as much, but uh, I like to use it for a lot of different things. I'm so glad you got it. Did you get it from Amazon? I'm assuming. I love how quickly they come. You signed your name with your maiden name and had been married for more than 20 years. I know. It's true. It happens. It's so funny. It's like, where? It's just crazy. How does this happen? <laughs> uh, now this is a lot long. Oh, this is a long verse. I'm going to have to plan this out for sure. She wants be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Oh, my. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Oh, okay. Hmm. So this one I'm really going to have to plan out. That's a lot. Yes, prom. I know I'm so prom. Yay. Hi, Natalie. Trying to finish editing your own kids Christmas photo sections. Sessions, sorry. You save them to the last. Are you are you a photographer? You just like doing pictures. I Oh, you are a photographer, aren't you? I um I feel so bad to say this, but I, we didn't do Christmas cards. I I didn't do them last year. I think last year was the first year I didn't do it. Um and everybody sees my pictures online, so. Oh, Natalie, I knew that. Yes. It is hard to do your own stuff. Like, if I were having to make a personalized ornament, I'd probably wait till last because it's like, ah, oh, the other stuff's got to get done. Um, hi, Leah. I use, do you like the way these look? I have different kinds. Look. That and that. Let me show you some others. this one and then I've got these all different kinds um okay so I there's a guy I used to buy from on Etsy but he doesn't he sells out of them so quickly and um so I get, Crystal, by the way, I see you on here. Hello. I've been meaning to send you pictures of what I have left over from the sale. I, you're, I have your package sitting out because I want to send you pictures and I have one more sale. I don't know if you want me to go ahead and put it in the mail tomorrow or if you want me to try to get you the pictures or if you want to wait till the sale on Sunday. That's my last sale. So you tell me. Um, so this guy... I used to buy them from him on Etsy, but he sells out really quick. So I started buying them on Amazon. I think I've sold, I think I've sold most of the ones from Amazon, so I don't have many to show. Yeah. So the, this is from, um, this is from Amazon. These are my Etsy ones, some of these. And this is the smaller pack from Amazon. But I had a bigger pack too. But I think I've already sold all those. So I don't have one to show you of that. But the guy that sent me stuff on Etsy, it was just random stuff. It, I couldn't really pick which one. So I just went with it. I like them all. So see how different these are? But I bought, yeah, I, I bought my last ones on um, I can wait for the sale. So wait till Sunday after Sunday because you might want to add stuff to the sale. Okay, gotcha. Natalie, you're blessed with being able to use a 1930 red. Oh my gosh, I bet they were amazing. I would die to do that. Oh, I would die to do that. Yes, I paint the black on first. Yes, ma'am. Crystal. Um, wow, I can't believe I have to do this, all this on this ornament. Yikes. So what are y'all doing? Be on your guard. Um, uh, do y'all have all your Christmas shopping done? We don't do much shopping, so I do. Well, I think I do. 
Ah. I don't know. This is a lot. That is a lot of information. Do y'all think I need to ask her if I can just, if you were to shorten this, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, what would you put? Because I think be strong and courageous is what I've seen written on things. And I think that would look good, but I don't know. Not much shopping around here. Grown kids get an ornament and cash. They probably love that. <laughs> you know, um, cash is the best. And, oh, I think grandkids be fun. Grandkids be fun to shop for. One day, hopefully, I'll get to do that. Hopefully. Well, the good thing about this is if I start to write it and I can't fit it, then I can paint over it. That's the best part. Still have... Still have 80 what? Eleven and four. Aw. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. Uh oh. That's not how you spell guard, is it? I think it is. 80% of yours to do. Wow. That's not bad. It's fun at the end because then you're like, I gotta go. I gotta get this done. If you buy too early, I just keep buying and buying and buying. Oh, let's see if I can fit the stint in. The. <laughs> yeah, 80%. But we don't, I don't have a lot of people in my family to buy for. My parents, we decided to do charity this year. So we gave to the um, Crisis Center. And so they had a mom there with, I think, eight kids. And they all needed stuff. So that's, that's fun, you know, to be able to give them a Christmas that they wouldn't be able to have. And then... Um, I mean, we all buy what we want throughout the year, so it's no fun when Christmas comes, you know? So there's some markers that I left for my kids. I was like, okay, I really want these markers. Some, <laughs> And I know they're like, oh, that sounds boring. But for me, it's exciting. 35 to buy for. Oh, my heavens. Well, I don't have any. I have one sibling, but he's not married and didn't have kids. And then I have my husband's an only child. So that's it. It's just my two kids. So they get spoiled. One grandson. And that's probably fun. Barbara. It's probably fun. Natalie, tell me about these 35 people. Do you have to spend a certain amount? Who can afford that? <laughs> Do your doggies get gifts? Well, sometimes they don't play with toys much, and so that's not fun. And then um, they love treats, so yeah, sometimes I'll get just a little something. I don't always buy them something, though. Do y'all? 
Your dogs get spoiled. I mean, I have these tiny stockings that are fun just to put up for them, but sometimes I forget to put stuff in them. I need to do that. And I can't even find their ugly Christmas sweaters. They have them, and they're so gaudy and ugly and cute at the same time. But I don't know where I put them last year. So, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get much out this year. Too much going on. And nobody cares, it feels like. Your daughter buys for the dogs. I love that. I used to all the time. And then I had kids, and then it, you know, kind of, they kind of got put on the back burner. They weren't my babies anymore, but they're starting to be my babies again. One brother, no kids, one stepbrother and sister that have six kids. Hubby has four siblings. Whoa. We buy for two of them that are local. My goodness. Do you, um, did you say if you, you have a budget for them? Like, do y'all all, like, say, okay, you can only spend this much? And is it, it's probably a blast to do it, but it might be really stressful to do it also. But do y'all ever, do y'all ever talk about drawing numbers? We did that for years with my, dad's family when I was growing up I had a lot of cousins and so we did that for a little while and then it fizzled out to not doing anything anymore because it's hard to find stuff you're like what do they like I don't know I don't really know and we don't see them very often like once a year so we didn't know what they liked and we had to ask other people and then they were like well why don't you pick it up and then I'll pay you back so it got to be kind of a hassle. Hi, Carla. How are you? Are you a late nighter too? a lot to put on one ornament and then of course it's first Corinthians which is so long I'm gonna shorten that for sure I hope that's okay this is really sweet order though because she says, um, she's praying this verse over her this year. It's a gift for someone. I think that's so sweet. Love that. You used to do friends and their kids too, but I quit. We don't set limits. I wish they would draw names. Be less stressful, I'm sure. <laughs> Teenagers is right. <gasps> Carla, thank you. I love that. That makes my day. Have you done any hand lettering already? Oh, I love that, Natalie. What kind of crafty stuff have you made for them? I wish I could play music, but Facebook won't let me. Cause I'd have some good Christmas music on right now. 
I'm glad you caught me live too. That's awesome. You're practicing hand lettering right now? Door hanger serving trays, home signs that the O is in the shape of. Ah, oh, West Virginia. That's neat. Wish I could see them all. We, okay, before handmade was even like, quote, popular, we would do a handmade Christmas. My family, me, they were like, uh, do we have to? They were not real. This is like my parents. They're like, uh, what am I going to make? I don't know what to make. And so we called it Homemade Christmas. Yeah, I like music. I want some music. You lose your hand lettering skills? Aw. Yeah, you have the book too. That's Y'all are so cool. Okay, so anyway, I was like, you know, this was before Pinterest, before any, before crafting became popular again, you know. Um, and I've always been crafty. And so, I mean, scrapbooking was really popular at the time. So I knew I could, there's a lot of stuff I could do for them. But they were like, I don't know what I would do. But I made them stick to it. And it was so cool because we didn't spend any money on stuff. I mean, except what it cost to make the crafts. And I love seeing what everybody came up with. And my grandpa, he uh, ended up making these squirrel feeders, which I'm not going to go out and buy a squirrel feeder, really. I mean... I mean, I might eventually, but at the time, I wouldn't have. And um, so that was really cool to have something that he did that he didn't normally do. And then my, um, they just got creative. You know, you can cook stuff for people. And somebody was telling me that they do um, a swap that is, oh gosh, I wish I could remember. It was, have you ever heard of a, so, uh, it all rhymes. It's, a, it's when you do a Christmas swap with friends and it's like bake. One of the words is grow. Okay, grow. So, something or bake. Grow, sew, blank, or bake swap. And so everybody has to either grow something, sew something, bake something, and whatever the other. I don't know what the other is. What's the problems with that that makes sense? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I want something that I'll use. That's what makes it hard to me to shop for people because I can't tell you how many years. And I'm just as guilty of it is that, you know, someone gives us something, it just sits there because we're not ever going to use it. And I'd rather give someone an experience. You know, even if it's tickets to the movies, that's something that they'll go do. And it's not sitting on the countertop not being used. So, but then gift cards are hard to give because I feel like we're just all swapping gift cards. It's like, okay, why are we even doing this? So, okay, if it fit. I just need to make sure it's spelled right. Do y'all see anything misspelled? Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. I don't see anything misspelled. So, I'm trusting that y'all don't either or you would speak up, right? Am I correct? Make, bake, grow, or sew. I think that is it. Yeah, yeah. Make bake. Did you come up with that or make, bake, grow, or sew? That's probably it. Did you just make that up or have you used it before? I think that's such a cute idea. I had this sweet artisan group that we meet people from church and we did a Christmas party this year and we did a cookie swap and an ornament exchange. And it was just, it's just fun. And you're not spending a ton of money. And we didn't all exchange an ornament. We just did the, some people call it Dirty Santa. Some people call it uh, Chinese Christmas. And there's one other thing. Um, I know, handmade is the best, right? But it used to not be. But I think there's just, Pinterest has just given us so many great ideas. And it's and people are now wanting to get back into slowing down, whereas we used to just everything was hurry, hurry, hurry. And sitting down and doing pastime like this is relaxing, and it's good It's good therapy, too. What kind of white pen are you using? I got a Sharpie Ultra Fine paint pen, and it just leaves globs. Oh, 
girl. Don't even get me started about those paint pens. <laughs> I'm using a white gel pen. It is a Uniball Signo. I can give you the... Let me type in my link to my Amazon store. And it has all the stuff that I use, my, the products that I use. I'm going to type it in right now and I'll pin it to the top. But when you go on there, let's see if I can type in talk. Probably not. When you click on it, it'll you know give you the ideas of the things I like. And also, you can, of course, purchase on it or you can just look at it and then decide that you're going to go to the store and get it. But um, hang on, let me think. Is this right? I want to spell the name right. <laughs> um, but anyway, when you click on it, It'll take you to my Etsy shop and on there, okay, I'm pinning it to the top. So it should be, you should be able to see it like, I think it's actually at the bottom, but it has my link. And it's broken down into sections when you get in there. And if you look for wood ornaments, the wood slice ornaments, all the stuff that I use to make these is there. And if y'all want to go even further, I have a class online on how to make them. Lots of tips and stuff because there's, you know, I mean, some people are like, I'm going to figure it out myself. Some people, you just have to ask a couple questions. And some people want to know from the very beginning, show me what you do. And that's what the class is for. And the class is very affordable. Um, if you want to check it out, you can go to my website, Craft with Christy. Christy is C-H-R-I-S-T-I-E. You're welcome. Yeah. Hopefully that'll help out. And you're welcome to ask me any questions about it. Like if you get over there and you're like, wait, I don't know which thing you're using. I do sell these ornaments. I sure do. These are special orders I'm doing right now. This one is for Berkeley. This is an Etsy order. I don't actually know her. That's just an order. And this is the scripture that she picked out for her friend or family member. I don't even know. But And she's having it shipped to her. It's a gift. I did one today that was for um, parents to be. So the order was congrats mom and dad to be in 2019. So I was telling you I had some that said 2019. I did one that said the Oates family 20, uh, 2019. They're not getting married until 2019. So they wanted to go ahead and have that put on there. So that was super cute. But yeah, I have an Etsy shop, and I can put the link in if you're interested in looking at them. I'm doing one more online sale. Um, did any of y'all, I know a couple of you participated in it, but have y'all ever done an, um, participated in an online sale before? Like a Facebook Live online sale? It's so much fun! I've done three in the last few days. Is it too late to order for Christmas? No. Mm -mm. I can I can go ahead and do... I mean, if it was 100, it'd be hard. Which I did 120 last year, so I know that. <laughs> but yeah, I can do some. I'll Let me post the link for you. And then you can look at the details and decide if that's something you want to do. But yes, last year, 120. This lady asked me... Thank goodness it was in November when she asked me, but I, um, hang on, I'm grabbing the link and I'm going to lose my thoughts if I don't think while I'm doing this. Anyway, she, I was going on a cruise and I had to take all the stuff on the cruise with me, which, you know, that's not that big of a deal, but I just, it was, it was just crazy. I had them everywhere. I took them everywhere I went. Okay, Carla, I'm going to reply to you and put the link there. And then you can see the details about if you want to order or not. Just click on that link. And that link looks weird. There it is. Okay. There it is. Thanks for asking. Ah, oh, Linda, you're so nice. So you got my message, what I said about how crazy I was today? Looking for that ornament? <laughs> insane gosh that was funny okay so this one looks like it's almost done oops but talking about th this class 
if you're interested in, in taking this class. One of the reasons why people want that is because they want the details. And one detail that I would say is this pen, you might not like it, but I'm just telling you on the market as far as what's out there, this is it. And, um, but it's a roller ball. And if y'all know about roller balls, you just barely roll them for them to come out. Well, on this paint, sometimes it wants to dig in. So you have to be really light handed with it. Thank you, Kimberly. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to just dry this for a second and go on to the other side and finish it up. I want to add some details to it too. Y'all, I have a mess. I usually like to try to keep my area clean for when I'm demonstrating, but today I was just like, oh, I just got to get this going. So, sorry for the mess. Yeah, I've sold a ton of these over Christmas so far. They are very popular. And, of course, we all love to personalize things. And especially when you can make them special. I, my favorite thing is to put scriptures on them. Love doing that. Like this one, I did it as well today. And even though it's not a Christmas scripture, you know, it's a song or whatever, but it's, it's still, I still love it. One of my favorites. Quote. Do y'all know the history of that song, by the way? Okay, let's see. <laughs> I need to read your response. Okay, I don't think you're on. You probably weren't on here earlier, but I told them the story about me looking all day for that ornament. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. I thought, hey, what am I going to tell her? What What am I going to do? I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and I thought, I don't have another one. I can't make another one. I'm, I, I'm thinking of all these scenarios in my head. How, how am I going to fix this? And then I uh, finally, after torturing myself for a while, <laughs> is it hard to cut your own slices or do you not mess with it? We live in the woods. Girl, you go for it. You could try it. I did read that it there's that some things that you have to worry about. So I was like, oh, I'm not even going to ask anybody to do it because I don't want to get the wrong thing. But I don't know if it has to do with it be, them being dry or I would research it. I would do some research and find out about it. Yep, it is well. Um, but if you've got some woods back there and you got a saw and you know someone who knows what they're doing, go for it. Might as well try it. What kind of trees? I want some birch wood. I think birch wood is so pretty. Well, <laughs> here's another thing I did this Christmas. I made these ornaments. I went to a retreat. I go to these craft retreats a few times a year, and it's so much fun. But then you take everything and you um, with you, and then you know you do your crafts, and then you come home, and you've got all this stuff to put away. Plus, you have your new crafts that you finished, and it's just crazy. And so I had made these the custom ornaments for people, and I was getting ready to ship them, and I could not find them anywhere, anywhere. How do you lose that? I, I, I mean, I know I had them when I got home because I remember adding ribbon to them because I asked one, do you want twine or do you want ribbon? And she said, one said twine and one, one said ribbon. And so I know they were here. I don't know if they got shipped out and I just totally forgot I shipped them out or if I, if they're here somewhere and I can't find them and they're going to show up later, but I ended up remaking them and shipping them. So they might have gotten to and been like, this lady's lost her mind. Not even going to tell her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, okay, so it takes a lot of time for them to cut and to dry out. I think that was the thing. After I started reading about it, I was like, uh, I don't think I'm going to mess with that. Um, ash, maple, pine, oak, and I think there's a few birch. Man, you've got all kinds of good stuff. I don't know anything about trees. I don't even know, I don't know why I asked you what kind, but I just thought I would ask. <laughs> Sounds like an intelligent question, right? Like I know what I'm talking about. So 
also, my teenager, he's not a teenager. If they're 20, they're not a teen anymore, are they? Aw. Well, anyway, he went out with his friends. Well, they go to this, they go to one of their friends' house, and they, I really do think they're playing video games. So, I thought, oh, I'll just stay up a little bit and see if he comes home. He's probably not going to come home forever. And then, the wood will split if they're not sealed and dried correctly. Oh. Um, anyway, and so then I'm wondering, well, is my son going to wake up in the morning? Can we do breakfast? Well, I doubt it. I have to think back to when I was, when I was 20 in college and think, no, how did you feel about stuff? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't want to go to breakfast with my parents either. Okay. I think that one's ready. We'll leave. So I've got to seal it. Okay. You sold a bunch of timber, expand the farm the reports from the tree guy. <laughs> yeah, I do not know enough about that stuff. I've lost this one marker that's my favorite, favorite, favorite marker. And <laughs> I'm having a hard time moving on because you have to buy a whole package to get that marker. Like, you can't just buy that one marker. And so now... I feel a little depressed. And I really need it, like, right now. Thought I might get lucky, but no. Thank you. Oh, sorry for the noise. Oh, I thought I might find it. It's probably wherever those ornaments are that I've never found since I made it. But this new marker that I found, I mean, somehow I survived without it last year. So I should be able to survive, right, without it this year. Okay, I found these. Um, I was going to play with some of these tonight. Y'all help me come up with some scriptures, would you, that have to do with the world. That have to do with, well, it didn't have to do with the USA, but something USA themed. So one is the world, one is USA, and the other one is a star. And I know from, you know, from the Bible, um, he knows the stars and calls them by name or whatever. That's a good one. Um, the world, for God so loved the world. But you might think of some other ones. If y'all think of some, would you send them to me? Would you just post them here so I can have some ideas of what I can write on some things that I got? I'm excited. I got these big ornaments and I'm going to make some probably to sell on my live on Sunday which I've got to figure out what time to do that if y'all have tips on um, what the best time is on Sunday to do my sale because I think I have most of the day to do it but I have a friend that I've got to kind of work around her schedule and we were thinking either two or five and then someone else said why don't you do it at night peace on earth I love that peace on earth let's do that one but, since I haven't written on these with um, certain things, I'm going to go ahead and write it in pencil first. If y'all are interested, I am starting a membership group in January. I don't have the date. I don't have the price. I don't have all the details, but I'm praying about it, and I know the Lord's going to... He's led me to it. I just need to get the details on it. And what I, my goal is it for it to be a faith-based lettering membership group. And um, if you're interested, if you go to craftwithchristy.com, you can go to classes and then you can sign up to be on the wait list and then you'll learn a lot more about it. But I want it, my goals are for it to be affordable, for us to focus on random acts of kindness, scripture. Um, like I want to, like say for example, one month we're going to um, focus on be the light and talking about what be the light means. And, you know, maybe have challenge, not challenges, but well, yeah, for you to challenge yourself to write 
scriptures that have to do with that um, and make it pretty with your hand lettering. And then random, random acts of kindness um, challenges for you to maybe write little scripture cards and leave them at different places or strategically put them places and then do a craft project that month that has to do with that too. And just to off the, off the cuff is like maybe a lantern and um, hand letter on a lan lantern somewhere. So that's just a, that's just my, oh, I love that, Carrie. Those are great. Um, anyway, that's my thought about the letter sh lettership. <laughs> but I need to, if y'all have any ideas for a name for that, my membership group, I totally need some name. I need date. I'm, I'm working on price. I want it to be affordable. Anyway, got a lot of stuff to think about. But in January, sometime I want to start that. And it's going to close. Like, I'm, it's going to be a closed membership. So it'll only be open for a few days and then um, close. And then we'll have a private Facebook group. And then I'll open it probably again, maybe in a few months or something. Okay, so peace on earth. That's what we talked about. Yeah. Let me get my laser ready. I'm so excited, Kimberly. I really feel called to do it. It is just so, it's just what I feel like the Lord wants me to do. So I want to be obedient. Peace on earth. And the membership group that I'm in, I have made so many friends. It's a business group, but it's much more than a business group. You know, it's like a supportive friendship type of thing. We all, you're automatically connected because you are working on the same thing or love the same thing. And all this here is trial and error, so that's why I'm writing in pencil. I don't know if y'all can hear the shower going and my daughter's music, but <laughs> it's loud. She's got home from babysitting, so she's maybe getting off kid germs. I'm just kidding. But that's why it's so late. She's taking a shower because she's got home. Okay, peace. And then fill in on the lack of that. Are we in the same group? Are you in Jennifer Allwood's group? Ooh, serious. I mean, Alexa's trying to talk to me, and I'm like, I didn't say anything to you. Tell me you're hearing. He's got the whole world in his hands. Aw. Tell me what you said you're hearing the same thing. Tell me what you mean. In your group. Y'all are late nighters too. Love it. I feel I feel like I'm not so lonely crafting by myself. It's just more fun with friends. Oh, Brooke Riley. Okay, I don't know Brooke. I don't know Brooke. But we can be friends too, right? <laughs> it's fun to be on different people's pages and learn about them and their lives. And I don't know if y'all follow my Instagram stories, but I enjoy doing that. It's really fun. Okay, so first I was going to do a metallic. The one thing that worries me is the metallic, me being able to see through it and see the pencil. And so I'm going to do a little practice and see. Oh, that is not silver. And since I got back from my retreat, I can't find anything because it's not all put back where I had it before I left. I can't find anything. Oh, but look, I found my pen and my marker. Hallelujah. So I'm just going to practice on here. God's leading me to open a group too. Oh, I hope you do, Kimberly. That's amazing. What kind of group? Like a, um, a coaching group or what kind? A refab. A refab group.
Well, that did not cover the pencil line. I want to practice on this, but but I don't, you know? No, I don't think this is going to work. Oh, okay, okay. You're not sure what kind of group. Well, I know that uh, before I decided to do this, that I just prayed, Lord, show me, show me, guide me. And oh my gosh, when I listened, it was scary to, to be like, are you sure this is you, God, saying this? Is this not me? <laughs> But it was pretty evident um, that's what I was supposed to do. And then he's blessed it so much. And um, and I'm talking about the hand lettering stuff because I never was going to teach hand lettering. But he's blessed it so much. And, sorry, I know that's annoying. And I just keep trying to be obedient. And every time I think a door's closing, he opens another. I just want to think it's hard when we start getting successful to um, or having you know successful things happen sometimes we start you know thinking hey look at me that's the last thing I want to do I mean it's all him and I want to give him all the glory and if y'all catch me not doing that call me out on it I want to know Yeah, um, Kimberly, it is hard to narrow down, um, especially, you know, makers. Makers, you know, we just love to do so many things. And when I started, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do sewing. I've been sewing. I've had my Etsy shop. I'm just going to teach sewing. And then, nope. And I was just going to do all kinds of crafting. But this is what people want right now. And so... My business coach was like, you give them what they want. And then once I heard her say that and I got a little bit more confidence to teach hand lettering after I was asked to do a class and I did it. Um, and then it just started snowballing from there. And it's because I listened. And my, I really wanted to do online stuff. You know, some people are online people and some people just aren't. And I didn't want to do, I used to have a studio and I taught paper crafting, scrapbooking and card making. And I did not want to do anything like that. I did not want to have the responsibility of a studio. I did not want to have, I didn't want to drive across town. I didn't want, you know, and so that's kind of how all this came about. Tell me what 1 Corinthians 1, 21 through 23 is. Is that what this is? Because it would be cool to write it down here or on here. Or should I know it by heart? Ha <laughs> ha. That's what I love about, okay, so I started learning, getting so much better at learning scripture when I started hand lettering them onto, um, I just started hand lettering them onto cards and stuff, these little tiny scripture cards. If you haven't printed them out, I have a free set on my website, and that's how I started learning so much scripture. Luckily, I haven't had a big glop of paint 
on here because that happens a lot if I'm not careful. So I don't know why I just had this thought, but do y'all, have y'all ever eaten um, gingerbread cookies, gingerbread snaps? Maybe gingerbread snaps. Gingerbread cookies from, what is that place called? World Market. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And I have been having some cravings for them. I haven't had them this year. And I've gotten them. At the end of the season, I usually try to wait a little bit till they put them on sale. And I've gotten them for even 70% off. I think half off last year or something. Um, but, ah, oh, they're so good. And they're crispy. And so, but you get this whole tin full. Well, you can buy a smaller one, but you got to buy the tin. <laughs> okay, so, peace on earth. And I've got to decide. I'm going to try to do some... Um, greenery on it or something. I'm going to do something to jazz it up and make it look cute. So I guess I'll try some uh, holly. I feel like my markers are not my friend right now. I had some newer markers and with this mess on the table, I know you're like, well, yeah, you can't find anything. I understand why. Looks like your sink. <laughs> Actually, I haven't been cooking near as much lately because I've been working so hard. When you work at home, sometimes it's hard to know how much you're working. Because um, you just work all day and you're not paying attention. And you're, you know, so I'm always either on the computer working or um making something I'm videoing something I'm uploading videos on a live anyway so you do all these things and then you're like the day's gone and I haven't done anything around the house and then you're too tired to do anything around the house and you don't want to cook dinner so that's the dilemma I have right now but I'd much rather do this than Make dinner anyway, right? <laughs> These need to be bigger. Just on the scale that I'm doing this on, it needs to be bigger. I could use like a paintbrush even on this. My great grandma makes the best ginger snaps. Oh, she did. Um, do you have a recipe and do you make them? Speaking of recipes, I've got to show y'all. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Let me show y'all what I did with my grandmother's recipes. My grandma, she's still living. She's 85. She is a spitfire. She's adorable. You should see her, the way she dresses. She is full of life. I want to be just like her when I grow up. But I went through her things, and I found some of her recipes. And... Back in the day, fig cake was the thing. Let me show you. Okay, so I took her recipes and I had them made into fabric. Can y'all see that? So this is all my grandma's handwriting um, with different things on it. And this piece doesn't have all the fig. She had so many different recipes for fig. I guess they had a fig tree is all I can think of. Um, but isn't this fabric cool? And I thought it would be neat to, um, and, and that's why I like because I didn't, you know, want to mess them up. But I thought it would be neat to make an apron out of it. I don't use aprons, so... I don't know. I never did do that, but I bought some fabric, and what I did is I put this, these recipes on my scanner, and I, I had to kind of tape them where I wanted them, and then I sent it off to a place called, uh-oh, oh, Spoon Flower. Spoon Flower, you can do that on your own fabric, and then I had it printed out, and 
I wasn't sure what to do with it. I made some, some zipper bags with it, and then I had this piece, and I was like, oh, I think I'm just going to hang this on the wall. I have like a collage of embroidery hoops in my sewing room, and so thank you. I love it so much. It's so special. It's so sweet. So anyway, that's an idea for you if you have recipes and you're like, I don't know what to do with them, but I don't want to throw them away. And That is something you could do. So I got a little dot right there, so I'm going to cover it up with some pretty greenery. It's very, very special. Your house looks like a cyclone. I know. It's hard to stop crafting and clean. Who wants to do that? You do have the, and you do make them, but they're not exactly, they're never, ever, ever going to be exactly like hers because she put some different kind of love in it, probably. It's never the same when someone else makes something, is it? I mean, when you make something that somebody else makes. There's a cake that my cleaning lady makes. Isn't that funny? I have a cleaning lady and I tell you my house is never clean because it's not. She comes once a week, and I have to... If you have a cleaning lady, then you understand that you have to pick up before the cleaning lady. Other people think it's hilarious. But you do, because she can't clean if you don't pick up. She can't vacuum the floors, or she's just going to spend all day picking up. And that's what I have to do, so she can vacuum the floors. <laughs> but anyway, um, she makes the best cakes. They are so good. They're so moist. And she said she'd give me the recipe, and I'm like... No thanks. I'd rather you make them for me because they're more, they're a lot more special. Um, one day I'll probably just get the recipe to have it, but oh, they're so good. It's kind of like a pound cake, but better because it's a lot moisture. I should get the recipe. So, who's in bed just laying there trying to go to sleep? And who is crafting? What are y'all, like, physically doing right now? Sometimes when I'm in bed, which I shouldn't have my phone in bed, but I do, um, it sleeps right between my husband and I. <laughs> anyway, I'll listen to a live and you know I'm like oh gosh I hope my husband doesn't see this I probably should put headphones on but he sleeps pretty good through it I don't know what I think about this what are y'all's thoughts do you like it or you're off to bed good night Kimberly I feel like it needs something but I don't know what but I have something in mind to try. And I don't know why I would try that. That's dumb. You love it? Oh, good. Good, good, good. This is silver. Look, I got some green paint there. I think because it's on the metallic, it'll come off just fine. But I'm trying to find something to get it off with. I had a Q-tip earlier. But I was trying to get the Q-tip out of the shot at least because to me that looks gross to have a Q-tip sitting around. Especially if you don't know what it's there for. I found it. So that'll come off. There we go. All these markers are driving me crazy. Okay, so I'm going to try the silver and see if it... Of course, I'm going to dry a little bit. <laughs> Natalie, the elves, that just totally cracks me up. I have to say I had fun with the elves. I had more fun than my kids did. But I never did it like the book said. You know, the book says, you know, all these different things about moving and all that. We didn't do that. I just moved it when I felt like it. And the funniest thing was when one day the elf moved and I was scared to death. I mean, for a moment. For the moment, I felt like how my kids felt. But, and I, <laughs> I left, okay, it was sitting on the water cooler. I left the room, 
I came back and it moved and it was freaky. <laughs> but of course it was my teenage son that did it. But he was like, oh my gosh, now I know how my kids felt about it. But my elf did some cool stuff. Right, Paisley? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was, it did some cool stuff. You know, it did the whole wrap the toilet paper, the whole toilet paper, the whole toilet and everything with Christmas paper and he did everything that all the cool stuff it can do. And now they don't care, of course. But I kind of still want to do it. I think they'd like it. But what if they don't? I don't know. I don't know if you can see this, but this, uh, to me, adds a lot of detail to it. The silver pen. And it brings out the silver and the metallic in the back. We take out our dog. So our routine at night, well, my husband's routine. I don't really have one. We're like the opposite schedule. And so what happens is he takes the dogs out at, um, at 10 o'clock every night. And then he, and they go, they go to bed. They're so excited. They can't wait because they, they get treats when they get in their kennel at night. And then he goes to bed. Well, tonight, he didn't do that. And my dogs were, like, so uneasy. They just, they were so, they just needed to go to bed. He didn't feel good, so he went ahead and went to bed. And my dogs were driving me insane. So I had to go put him in bed. So our schedule, his schedule was messed up. <laughs> I'm not sure where to put the lines. If I should put them underneath or not. Our funniest and most mean. <laughs> My son was three. Squeak was in the fridge drinking his chocolate for his milk. He freaked. He was a layer's foot curl. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. I love it. Have you seen the ones with the that have to do with Frozen, the movie Frozen, and they freeze Elf in? water and then when they take off the cup or whatever he's like frozen in a block and then they have the one of the frozen dolls I don't know their names anymore Elsa or something standing whichever one like freezes him and Elsa stand there and freezing him it's really clever I like that one yeah I did some that were that were scary too that were freaky but I have a little warped sense of humor it sounds like you might too <laughs> Speaking of playing tricks on people, my um, my daughter is not very, she doesn't really love or didn't love jokes and stuff. We'd get kind of annoyed, but <laughs> that didn't stop me. So, like on um, one of my favorite uh, April Fool's days, we did, have you seen where people, fr like they freeze a bowl of cereal and put it on you just put it in the freezer and you just do normal put it in the freezer and it looks it looks just like cereal so I had cereal set up for them and they come in the kitchen and when they go to eat it they're you know they're just so surprised and she's like doesn't think it's funny at all <laughs> uh, but it's a memory they won't forget hey hey what you doing What is it? All the stuff that's piled up over here. I don't know what it, uh, on the, sorry y'all. Oh, on the chest? Yeah. Do you have to do it right now? Probably. Can you move it to the floor? Yeah. It's hard when they come back home and you're starting a little bit to take over their room and they still need their room. <laughs> Okay, that's better. I like that better. I just have to kind of stand back and look at it later and decide. Does it need more?
It's like he's tearing the room apart. Oh, my stars. Hey. Yeah? I'm on live. What? I'm on live. Just FYI. Uh, you're cool with Emily coming tonight, right? I'm on live right now. So, okay. um, yeah, but is she already driving? Not quite yet, but she's about to. What? No, her mama doesn't want her to. And, and, what? and she was on here earlier saying she didn't want her to. Oh, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of like she didn't have to do it now. I, she literally didn't sleep last night either. So, I don't know. Doesn't that sound like it, that she will be tired then? Well, she slept during the day. Oh, well, hmm, whatever. But of course it's okay, sure. Okay. I just don't want, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Are you going to make your bed in there? Yeah. I like the black couch for you. Mm, very, you. very comfortable. Well, that's the problem. Not, I don't want him on the other couch, but... Okay, you need to try that. Last year I couldn't find the elf at all, so they got a letter that said he broke his leg and he would be an elf rehab for the new season. Oh, for that season. That's funny. So you bought two new ones. Do they do everything together? Well, it sounds like me. I can't find anything either. Um, do your two elves, like, do they do something different or do they do things together? Can y'all see the silver detail at all? I bet you can't on the... It's a hint of silver and it just gives it that little finishing touch. I couldn't even find scissors earlier. I was using my seam ripper. Oh my God. He is up at midnight wanting to make tea. Do we have a tea kettle? <laughs> He's texting me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I'm using my phone. Hello. So he literally moved back in. Not moved back in, but is home for the holidays. So life is just going to be different. For a couple weeks. Anyway, I want to cut this thing off, but I'm a seam ripper handy. <laughs> so far they have. I've never had them do different things. Well, I suggest keeping them together because it's going to be a lot easier. But yeah, I didn't do where he had, he had to move at a certain time because I knew I couldn't follow through with that. See how long it takes him to come in here and ask me. What do you think? Do I, does it look done or here? Let's see if y'all can see the metallic. If I kind of roll it around like that. My computer's really delayed, so I have no idea if I'm even holding this in the game review. <laughs> I hope I am. I don't think it shows up too much on there. Okay, so I have different ones. Like I have this color as well. Let 
Ugh, here we go. This color, which is different. So I might use a white on that. And then I have, you do like it? Thank you, Carla. I'll have to marinate on it. I think I do. I think I do like it. I do want to, yeah. So anyway, I, I want to do one on here too. And we talked about different scriptures on that. Peace on earth. What did someone else say? We talked about joy to the world. I think I'll do joy to the world on that one. I forgot when I'm in my son slept on the couch that night. And that was my excuse. Don't go to bed. They can't be looked at on earth. That's a good one. I like it. Keep keep on your toes. Now, how old is he? Your son? Or this is a, a long time ago. This was a long time ago, wasn't it? Aren't your, you said your sons were, or your kids were grown. Anyway, I see so many funny jokes about the elf, how parents hate it. <laughs> Oh, that, it just cracks me up. Too funny. So if anybody new's on here, say hi. I want to know where y'all are from. Is it cold where you are? I kind of lied today. Not on purpose, but I was on a live on Low Country Sparkle. And she asked me if it was cold, and I was like, no. But then I went outside, and it was kind of cold. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what it's ever going to It's ever. I'm in the house a lot. Um, and I just thought it wasn't cold, but then it was kind of cold. Joy to the world. So I'm going to exaggerate world, make it big. I'm going to start with that. Come on. Uh, this isn't going to cooperate on here. Eight and a half. Oh, you still have, okay, you still have fun with yours then. Somebody else said they had teens. Oh, you still have a blast with yours. Who else sending out Christmas cards? I want to know. Is it is it dying? I've gotten about two real life Christmas cards. Like people who it's not a business. Seems like businesses are who send them out now. I have one friend, she's like, I'm going to keep doing it. But she has young kids, and they're fun. They're fun. No. Oh, well. Hang on. I'm going to say they're, I'm not saying they're fun. I'm saying their kids are cute still. <laughs> it's fun when the ki kids are still cute. And I know that sounds mean, but what I mean is, is you want everybody to see them because they're so dang cute. And then as they get older, they don't want their picture taken and they're not as much fun and, you know, all that stuff. And then when do you stop doing it because your child's in college? Do you, you know, used to, but haven't for a few years. I've gotten five. I'm glad, Carla. I'm glad you're sending them out. Good for you. Um, but with Facebook, I just, and because my kids don't really, Paisley, she doesn't like her picture taken anymore. They just don't, I just don't care. And so, I feel like I've turned into Scrooge. I don't care either. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to fit to the, probably should have gone down with World a little bit. He's in there making something. He's got that microwave going. It's going to be loud around here. It's funny how you, it's so sad when they leave and then after they're gone and they come back, you're like, dude, you are messing up my life <laughs> my life that I've been used to without you not be with you not being here but when he left it was hard it was so sad but now I have a driver college student and a driver and I am very happy with where I am right now and that's why I could start my business and stuff too in, I think April because I could see that I'm here anytime they need me but I also have to do something with myself or I would just 
yeah, at that age, Natalie, mine didn't have a choice either. Yep, they were going to be cute. I'm going to smile for that Christmas card and be cute. Oh, we did a really cute one. Um, probably they were a little bit older than yours are, but we had everybody was holding a device and looking at it. And so, you know, like I was looking at my cell phone, someone else was looking at the iPad, that kind of thing. And so we weren't looking, you know, at the, at the camera. It was really cute. And it said, make time for your family in the holidays or something like that. Just kind of making a point that it's supposed to be a special time. And I used to always do a little story with mine and talk about what we did for the year and how the Lord's worked in our lives. And that's still fun to do, but I just haven't, I haven't done it. <laughs> always a camera in their face. Because they're still cute. And they don't, well, they still might mind at that age, but. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun with my daughter when she was that age because she was, she didn't care, you know? You don't think about, you don't feel, you don't, they don't know what being judged is yet. And then, man, when they get in junior high, it all changes. They're really worried about what everybody else thinks. I sure I feel like I'm talking a lot. Oh, I love it. Is it Toya? That's a pretty name. Your graphic card. Oh, I bet it's so fun. I'd love to see your Christmas cards. And see those funny ones that people send are the best. Because you're looking forward to what are they going to do this year. I'm the only fun one in my family. <laughs> I This is what I always say. I live with cats. I am a dog in a cat world. I am like, <laughs> let's have fun. And their cat's like, dude, I ain't got time for you. You just go on and be crazy. I hope they grow out of it. Now, my husband's not going to grow out of it, but my kids. Too serious for me. My son has a great sense of humor, and I can see that coming back. Um, he's probably like that with his friends, but it's nice to see them coming back to their old self. Oh, I bet that is so fun. What kind of dogs do you have? Thank you, Natalie. Good night. Fun talking to you. Peter's blurry. I don't know if it is on y'all or not, but mine is. A pit bull in American Staffordshire. I just heard pit bulls are such cool dogs. And I don't know what the other dog is. Well, I'm glad it's clear to y'all. It's a little kind of goes in and out for me. American Staffordshire. I'll have to look that up. Because I am not sure.
Oh my gosh. You have the biggest and the smallest dog. How funny. Do they play? Do they get along? Oh, tell me about that. The Christmas party. So they bring an unusual gift or they wrap it unusual? Oh my gosh, how cute. Like a gingerbread house. That is adorable. I bet they love doing that. It's so fun to do crafty stuff like that. <clears throat> I really do love that idea. Do they like exchange numbers? How do they determine who gets what gift? They get along great. My Mastiff gets a little jealous when I pet the small one. <laughs> Aww, how cute. Well, those little chihuahuas are, they're lap dogs, aren't they? My dachshunds are. They gotta be in my lap. Man, those bull Mastiffs, they are so big. They're really cool. I've only seen them, like, at the pet store when I'm there with taking my dogs to do something. They look like really neat dogs, though. I love my dogs, but they can be kind of yappy. Dachshunds especially are kind of yappy. Well, it is a little after midnight. I guess I should go to bed now, huh? This is when I wake up, though. Oh my gosh, I need to go to bed. <laughs> ah. But now I've got my second wind. Oh, a number game? Oh, yeah. Oh, you have a doggy door for him? Oh, my gosh. We have a doggy door, but it's little. But I can't imagine having one for him. I mean, I'm assuming... Yeah, he...
That is great. I'm imagining that doggy door. I miss gymnastics. My kids did. They were really little. But I loved watching. It was fun. They never had a future in it. <laughs> Good exercise, though. I'm making this up as I go along, obviously. I love the, how the white pops on this. Whatever this color is. Kind of a tan color. Yeah, close to one. Well, yeah, I just start getting my second wind right now. And when I start crafting, like if I went on here with y'all and looking at the time, it'd be two o'clock and I'd be like, wow, I can't believe it's so late. I better go to bed. I think it needed the white on there. Coaching 45 years. That is amazing. That's so cool. Now, wow, that's great. And Carly used to be afraid someone could crawl through it. Yeah, really. Gosh, that's so crazy. Um, I didn't think about that till you said it. Do y'all close it at night? I mean, they could still get in, but do y'all close it like at night or ever close it? We started closing ours at night because we had a cat for a little while, and that cat would bring stuff in alive. Alive. And so my husband would have to come home from work to chase the mole, get the mole out of the house, flying squirrel, um, what else do we have? Everything you can imagine. The the usual birds, mice, rats, whatever. But man, that mole, I mean that flying squirrel. That was funny. I'm, I don't know if y'all can hear the TV, but oh my gosh, it's like across the house and it's so loud. You don't close it? Yeah, we never did. And then just because that cat brought in critters we decided to do that are y'all done with Christmas parties and stuff we had our office Christmas party we own a business and so we take our office out and we had a really good time. We had, ate at a really nice restaurant. We played games and all that, so that was fun.
trying to fish, finish this one up and then wind down, I guess. But if his girlfriend's coming tonight, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's a long drive. No Christmas parties. It's kind of nice that all that stuff for us is wound down. We're done with them. We get them. We get. We do ours really early in the season, in the in the month, and so these. Are, this is a really fun size for gift tags. I'm in Tyler, Texas. You know where that is? It's east of Dallas. About 80 miles. Where are you? Carla? And anybody else? <laughs> I'm glad I got two personalized ornaments done. I don't know if they want twine or ribbon. So I think I'm going to just do both of them and they can take one off. Doesn't that sound like a plan? That way I can get them shipped out. Oh, I don't have scissors. Darn it. They're somewhere in this house. Oh, here's some. Two sisters there, and I'm in Odessa. You have two sisters in Tyler? And your cousin lives in Fort Worth. Where are y'all? I mean, where's to Toya? Where are you located? That's cool. That's really cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how did you find me? Do you think one of them maybe shared it and you found me through them? I wonder if I know your sisters. Because Tyler can be pretty small sometimes. You have to tell me who they are. Pennsylvania near Gettysburg, Gettysburg and Camp David. Oh, okay. I have been to Pennsylvania. I went to Hershey Park. I don't know if I went to Hershey Park. Isn't that sad? I don't know. Went to Amish Country. That was really cool. Fort Worth is about two hours from here. I'm east of there. So now I've got to spray these. I like, I think these turned out okay. I think they turned out okay. So now I've got ideas of how to do the rest of them and the colors to use on them. But a friend of mine lived in York, I think York. So I got I went to go visit their family. Do you think it'd be cheesy on this one to put God bless the USA? God bless the USA. Not even sure where that came from. God bless America. Well, I guess, I mean, that came from our forefathers who um, built our country on the word, you know. 
brother lives in York. Okay. Cool. Oh, thank you. Found it from another paint club friend. Catherine Burton is one. She works at a Walmart grocery. Okay. That's so funny that you found me and then you have relatives in Tyler. That's that's crazy. But you're from Texas. Odessa is far from here. Isn't it like six hours or something? It's pretty far. Now I want to do this one. <laughs> but I need to go to bed. You know, um... So, hi, Carol. I got... Oh, I did. That's so fun. I got that ornament Ornament at... Um, have you ever heard of Canton Trades Days? It's like a... If, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a big, huge... Started out as a flea market. I mean, it's got to be one of the biggest there is. And um, I don't know how many acres of land they have, or miles maybe. Um, but they also have these pavilions with nicer stuff in it, and that's where I got them. You've never been? Okay, so it, it's called First Monday, and so it used to be, happened on the first Monday of the month. Now it's the first weekend of First Monday. And so I went in December this month. Um, the very beginning of the month and they had those and I was like, oh, I wish they had more. I only got three and now I wish I would have gotten more because they were super cute, personalized. We'll see if I run out of room. Mare. I think I'm going to make it. But, next year I really want to get more hand-lettered ornaments. Maybank. Oh. Well, have you been, Carla? So you have been. It is an insane place. It's just people everywhere. I almost can't handle it. But, we went on... A Thursday and the weather was perfect and it wasn't crazy busy and so I enjoyed my time this last time but sometimes I just can't go I don't like the big crowd Maybank. That's not too far. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's everybody has to go once. If you're in this area, you got to go to Canton. It's just... But... Oh, it's a lot of people. But you can find a lot of stuff. And the, the further back out in the... Not woods, but, you know, where the... Keep going back behind the pavilions and stuff. I think better the prices. But... You can get lost. It's so crazy. It's all like numbered. You have to, that way you can find your way out. And a lot of people rent scooters so they can get back in the back. Because it's big. These, I bought these during the 4th of July. This was a 4th of July. All of these were. Um, decoration. And I was like, you know, I think I could use those for Christmas ornaments. So that's kind of fun. I like the black. It's, everything shows up good on the black.
come on marker you just got to make it a little bit longer do y'all ever um, not throw your markers away because you think oh I can get just a little bit more out because <laughs> that's me every time and then I'm mad because it doesn't work and A lot of people are repurposing things, so they find some really neat stuff at Canton that they can repurpose. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna get here in the morning. Okay. In your classes, we can view it on our schedules. Um, like, if you take my class, is that what you mean? Like, you, you can view it whenever you want to. So, let me explain how my classes work. So, I have online classes. I have in-person classes. And then I'm starting a membership group in January. And if you take my online class right now, it's self-paced. And so it's just a, it's, it's a, basically a beginner hand lettering class. Um, I also have one to learn how to make the ornaments. So either one of those, they're self-paced. And people love that they're broken down into segments. So like one section would be um, a, here's the supplies you need. Here's my favorite supplies for lettering. And so that might be five minutes. So you can watch that and during a commercial or something, basically. And then um, the next section may be, you know, here are the basic strokes of hand lettering. That might be 10 minutes. I'm making it this up because I don't know. And then, um, but anyway, so what's neat too is when you're like, oh, I forgot what she did. You can go back to that section really easy and you don't have to watch a whole hour and then go back and try to figure out where it is. So people really love that. But if you go to my website, I'll put it on here. Um, Craftwithchristy.com. Let's see. I wonder if I can do more than one pen. Anyway, um, you can look under classes. I just posted it, and it'll let me pin the comment. But it takes the other one off, which is fine. Um, yeah, so click on there, and if you have questions about it, just let me know. But so the way the, the so in January I'm going to start a membership group, which means it's like a monthly thing, and you join, and then you can you know if you whenever you, it's like Netflix, you can quit whenever you need to. And um, were you here earlier, Carol, when I was talking about it? Because I don't I don't want to bore you repeating it. Or is there anybody else that wants to hear about it? Because y'all might have already heard it. Oh, when I was talking about it earlier. Okay. I made a sign for a wreath for the first time. Hanging my set. Steps on cutting out paw prints for me to paint. Making signs to go on wreaths with people's pet names on the side. Oh, that's going to be cute. A lot of people love to do my classes because they, they want to be able to make signs for their wreaths. So, that's a good idea. That sounds super cute. Now, do you train dogs and coach because I thought you said something about coaching dogs but I know you said you coach gymnastics so
if anybody is on here, because I know not everybody's, some people are shy about speaking up, just briefly the monthly thing. Um, I want to focus, make it faith-based and focus on scripture and have a theme for the month, that kind of thing, like be the light. And I talked about how we would um, focus on different scriptures in the Bible that have to do with being the light and what that means and challenges, random acts of kindness and a project that has to do with that month. Like for example, if we had, a, if I bought a pretty lantern and hand lettered on it, that kind of thing, we probably hand letter be the light or something. Anyway, that's a short version for, of it. But I don't have all the details I'm praying about it. And I really want to, um, I just feel like over the holidays, I'm like, Lord, please give me a name. Please give me, um, the, how much it's going to be. I want to keep it affordable. And then, um, yeah, where to go from there. So. I'm trying to figure out if this needs anything else on it. I think I'm going to, I like to do a little bit of sparkle. So I'm going to try a silver pen again. Some people are shy about talking on here. Can y'all see that? There's a little bit of sparkle. Very subtle. But I like how it ties in that silver. Am I missing comments or are y'all quiet? Still here. Texas Flip and Move. I don't know that show. Huh. Okay, y'all. I guess I really am going to go to bed this time. Although this is bugging me. I want to... I'm just going to let it go so I can look at it tomorrow and figure out how to finish it up. But Thank y'all so much for hanging out. It was way more fun than doing this by myself. Way more fun. I'm going to let y'all go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, or at least I'm going to go to bed. So thank you again for watching. And y'all don't be strangers. DIY channel. Oh, I need.
need to find the DIY channel. I don't, I don't know if I see that. I have that even. Let me see. All right. Y'all have a wonderful night or morning. It's morning. Y'all have a wonderful Saturday and I'll catch you next time. Bye.